Emma Radio. Hello and welcome to Good Vibes on Gamma Radio. We are back on air after uh, last week's debacle. Fog has calmed down after I locked him out and he wandered the wasteland for a week. Well, I had a wonderful time. Drank some wine and when I awoke, I had a new noise thing. Well, perhaps next time you lose your temper with a guest, you'll stop and think before you run off into town, get absolutely sloshed and pour my <laughs> shoes for some stupid wind-powered organ. I've already apologised. Let's just get on with it. OK, first up we have the news. <laughs> Another old world bunker has been discovered near the small town of Chippy Norton. Locals who approached the site to greet the newcomers were violently turned away by an array of people sporting green wellingtons and wax jackets emblazoned with the word Barbore. Apparently Bar-bore. these Barborians chased away the welcoming party with empty shotguns and golf clubs. I'm assuming they used all their ammunition on the horses. <laughs> well, you should know, Fog. Even posh people have to eat. Their spokesperson said they intend on establishing a new community based on old world values, so obviously steer well clear of these psychopaths. Good luck with that. In local news, eccentric farmer old Mr. Spocktopus has finally been rescued after being besieged in his home by his own vegetables. Spocktopus claimed to have bred the most mutated, ferocious vegetables in the world. He was proven correct when attacked by a flock of asparagus. They chased him into his pond, whereby he lost two fingers to a shoal of piratas. He fled into the waiting arms of a gigantic bare broccoli plant and, narrowly escaping its grasping stalks, locked himself inside his home. He was finally rescued by a passing vegan street gang, the Bloodless Crisps, who ate everything in Mr. Spocktopus's farmstead. While recovering at Red Betty's evening hostelry, he had this to say. I'd like to thank those vegans, but I won't. They've eaten me livelihood. I'll get off my land. Uh, finally... Lois Spittle's eldest resident celebrates her latest birthday today. When asked about how she has lived so long, she put it down to clean living, a happy disposition, and the early warning electro defence system, which obliterates anyone passing within 100 metres of her compound. Happy 41st birthday, Jaggerina Crankenhouse. Right, that's the news. You can do the weather yourselves. Here's an advert. Gobbler and sir. Gobbler and sir. Gracious, what a meal. Darling, the boss has invited himself round for dinner. Tonight! It's my big chance to impress him. Don't worry, Poppet. I've got just the thing. At Gobbler and Sons, we know that dinner is about more than just cuisine. Our scavengers collect only the finest old world meals just for you. Try our popular range of desiccated potato powder, guaranteed parasite free due to its low nutritional content. Or for a special treat, Delight your guests with a selection of pot noodles, as nourishing as the day they were made. That Ribita with gravy granules really hit the spot. Oh yes, those old worlders really knew how to eat. Jenkins, have a promotion. Oh, thank you, sir. I was talking to your wife. Gobbler and Sons, 200 years and our meals still taste the same. So, we have with us today, budding singer-songwriter Petunia Dank who has been causing a bit of a stir out in the wastes with her controversial new collection of songs that she's been performing around their local towns. So, Petunia, welcome to the show! Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming! Oh, it's great to be here. So, what brings you on the show, Petunia? Well, I've been working on some songs that I thought might brighten up everybody's day, and I thought playing on the radio will spread cheer and love over the whole of the mm, wasteland. Nice! So, what are your songs about? Love... Universal Cosmic Harmony. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to tap into the universal consciousness, the force that we all share and that universally binds us together. Universally. Oh. That. Well, thank you, Petunia. And uh, who is this that you brought with you? Oh, this is Gary, my muse and life companion. Oh, nice to meet you, uh, Gary. I uh, shake hands, but you don't appear to have any. Uh... Oh, don't mind him. It's almost time for his medication. Uh, So, can we hear one of your songs? Oh, yes, this one I've been working on these past few weeks. It's called Forever Isn't Long Enough. It's about... Well, it was inspired by Gary, as most of my songs are, and it's a testament to our love for each other. Take it away. Don't be so rude, Fog. I meant the song, not Gary. Uh. When you're ready, Petunia. Gaze 
eyes upon your manly face I know that we will have a happy day As long as you do exactly what I say Gary, your eyes, they shine like burning stars That's what you get for drinking in Mark's bar you drugs so that you don't get diseased it stops you running too which makes me pleased how I love you so you can never go cause I'll put you in a box covered in a thousand logs but there's only one with the key You'll never leave me! Remember the time you tried to run away? You lost your hands to me that very day I try again and your feet will have to go I'll push you about in an old wheelbarrow How I love you so you will never go I'll keep you as my pet A pet that makes me wet And if you want to run from me I'll hunt you down and destroy you, you greasy little shit mug! What the hell was that unholy racket? Fog? Uh, it was my love for Gary in a song It was a disgrace! What? But I... I don't understand! I think uh, perhaps... Fog has a point of contention with your song, Petunia. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Well, regardless of the words, which were poorly thought out and quite frankly disturbing, <laughs> it was mostly tuneless caterwauling, mm. followed by shouting. I thought it was quite pretty, uh, apart from the shouting. But the words, Petunia. What's wrong with the words? Well, from a light entertainment point of view, it was very, uh, dark. Uh, this is a family show, Petunia, and uh, listeners might be forgiven for thinking you are a bit of a psychopath. But it's, it's about love! And the universal harmony of the universe! No, it isn't. It's about you keeping this poor man here as a pet. But people love their pets! Yes, but they don't mutilate them to stop them running away. He wants to run away from you all the time. Doesn't that say something about your relationship? You're saying that he doesn't love me, and that's just not true! You chopped his hands off, for fuck's sake! You don't know what you're talking about! Anyway, I kept his hands, in case he needs them. Ugh, really? Yes, here! Look! Holy uh, mother of uh, fog! She's uh, ripped her blouse open to reveal that she's fashioned Gary's seven hands into some sort of disgusting bra! She is absolutely insane! If love is insanity, then I am batshit mental! You're a panda-hatted twat! Right! I've had enough of this abuse! So is Gary by the look of him. That's it! Do you want some? Wait, do you? you? What are you doing? What have some what? of this! Wait. Ah! She's got me in the belly back! Uh, Dave, do something! Uh, do what? Ah, I don't know, shoot her or something! Oh, I'm oh, spreading okay. oh, hey, oh. love ah. Ooh. and ah, cheer. We, we'll be right back. Uh, right, right after Ooh. Ah. this. Oh. At Burlington's, we select only the finest plastic bags for our range of ladies and gentlemen's fitted radiation suits. Turn gamma rays to dapper days with our John Lewis day suit and matching Waitrose waistcoat. No evening event would be complete without an industrial bin line and tuxedo. Or be the belle of the ball in a glorious bubble wrap gown. He won't keep his hands off you. Finally, why not add a flourish with one of our on-trend recycling bag hats? Range of local council logos available. Burlington's, carry on for miles with our carrier bag styles. Oh, right, uh, Petunia and uh, poor old Gary have uh, finally left. I thank the holy mother for that. Yeah, what a relief. Ah, uh, it's pain, isn't it? <laughs> Quite. What a fetid little turd. Uh, yeah, indeed. Um, if you really want to, you can catch Petunia performing, if you can call it that, Son's guitar in Mogg's Bar on Sewer Street this evening. If anyone can rescue Gary from her clutches, we'll, well, we'll give you a prize. And now, it's time for a call-in chat with me, Bog. Call in. On today's call-in, we'll be talking about favourite pastimes. Yes, what do you get up to when you're not starving to death? Wow, that was quick. We have a call coming in right now. Hello! Where is music? You are so rude! Where is music, lady? Oh, it's you. It is me, yes, only one, and it is me. I call to her music. Ah, uh, she's gone, I'm afraid. Gone? Then you now sing. 
What? You sing, and I not ram face in wire fence holes. We're not performers, we're presenters. Fetal spoot. It is fetal sprout, you ignore anus. I can't ignore your anus, you're talking out of it. I found your tin house on hill, you screwball garbage. I come to visit, or you must sing for me. Oh, f- sh- bloody hell, Fog, he knows where we live. Sing for him then, Dave. I can't sing. Do you think it matters? I have very disturbing taste. Oh, b- blast. I can see door from here. Okay, okay. What shall I sing about? Your love for puny boyfriend. I'm not puny. Or or his boyfriend. Sing! I love you, Fog, more than a hog. I think your face is creamy and your back belly's dreamy. B- fuck off, Dave. Sorry, Fog. I think my love is growing, my bulge is showing, oh, Dave. and my dream can only be satisfied by you. More earworms! Uh, uh, my lips are wet with intention, don't show me contention. Under Mars and Venus, I'll envelop your pee, and oh, and our love will never die. That was pathetic attempt at ear licking. Now I come in your door. Oh, lock the door. Ah. Ah, who are you? Dig that door, who is stupid you? man with stupid head. You sing my face and you put your face in my crab basket. You are balls. No, I take your no, face no, and stew it in your throat. You are scarecrows. Now let's and let's and be to you. Er, uh, what just happened? Uh, he he got the wrong house. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was very awkward. Uh, sorry, Fog. I'll just leave it. Oh. oh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, any more calls? Um, yes, there's someone coming in now. Hello, Dave. Fog. Uh, hello, and uh, what's your name, Cola? I'm Bog Fascist. And uh, what do you do when you're not starving to death in the waste, Bog? I like to play soldiers with my collection of dead wasps. I've got the biggest collection in the wasteland. Right. Uh, how many do you have? About four. What do you mean, about four? Well, four and a half. Major's head come off. Oh, that's uh, very interesting, Bog. Uh, What exactly do you do with them? Well, I line them all up from private to colonel, and then I pull all the stings out and glue them to their front legs. What on earth for? For swords, of course. Oh, I see. Uh, Anything else, Bog? Well, sometimes I like to kick shark melons into my neighbour's garden for a laugh. Isn't that a bit dangerous? It's only a laugh, isn't it? One did eat his cat, mind. That's horrible. Well, I thought it was funny. Would it be funny if he threw one into your garden? No. Okay, uh, that was Bog mm. with his wasps. He's a very strange fellow. Uh, I think we've got uh, time for one more. Oh, do we, oh, do we really? Oh, go on then, here we go. Hello, Mr. Fog. And Dave, I suppose. I'm Gaston. So, hello, Gaston. What do you get up to when you're not starving to death? Well, you see, Fog, I like to watch. Watch what? <laughs> I'm watching right now. What are you watching, Gaston? I like the way it peels. What? What are you talking about? It's a delicious bruised purple you. I've been here for days. Nobody knows. There are long poles stroking up the very wall. What are you talking about? Wet, smooth trails of divine beauty. Oh, that smell. Oh, the fresh smell of the white liquid. Mm, decadence beyond. I- are you all right? Oh, Magnolia! Whiten these rotten teeth with your radiant juice! Paint me! Use the brush on me! Oh, you've seen me how delightful! Oi, what are you I, doing? I must dash. Put your trousers on! <laughs> get out of there! Go on, clear off! Go on, get out of it! Go on, clear off! Well, sounds like he's been doing his own bit of decorating. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, I think we better end it there before any more debauchery takes place. Why can't we keep your section clean and family friendly? Ah, uh, fuck off, Dave. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Stay tuned for Happy Hour with Miserable Albert. Oh, I hate Albert as well. Gamma Radio. Radio.